Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll be discussing how to set up the TA Instruments Powder Rheology Shear Cell with temperature control. The powder shear cell is used for shear testing, which measures the strength of internal friction in a powder bed under an applied normal stress. A plot of shear strength versus normal stress is generated for a specified consolidation stress. From this plot, the yield locus analysis may be performed in trios to determine cohesion, unconfined yield strength, and major principal stress. The shear cell accessory with temperature control consists of the Peltier concentric cylinder jacket, cup with shear insert, shear rotor, funnel, loading scoop, and trimming scoop. The Peltier concentric cylinder is easily interchangeable with other smart swap accessories. Press the release button to swap the accessories. The powder shear temperature cell is assembled by placing the shear insert straight down into the cup and securing the screws with the provided wrench. Avoid placing the insert at an angle as this can lead to scratching the cup. The cup is then placed into the Peltier concentric cylinder jacket, rotated into place, and secured with thumb screws. The trim funnel is placed flush with the raised trimming apparatus and secured with the screw. With the rheometer head raised, the geometry is loaded by pushing it up the spindle and screwing the draw rod finger tight. With smart swap enabled and showing a green check mark, the geometry label is red and the new geometry wizard starts automatically. Review the parameters, click next, and finally click finish. Next, perform the geometry inertia, friction, rotational mapping, and axial mapping calibrations. The geometry inertia calibration is used to correct for the non-zero geometry moment of inertia. The friction calibration is used to correct for residual friction. Rotational mapping maps small variations in behavior around one revolution of the shaft. Axial mapping corrects for geometry inertia to optimize control of normal stress. Finally, zero the gap. Additional information is available in the help. To set up a powder shear temperature test, navigate to the Experiment tab in TRIOS. Select Powder in the Test Type drop-down menu. This test type will only be displayed if a powder geometry is installed. The first step is powder consolidation, and the second step is powder shear. Consolidation is achieved by applying a specified value of normal stress. The powder shear step consists of a sequence of steps called pre-shear and shear steps. During a pre-shear step, the powder is sheared under an applied normal stress until steady state flow is reached. This step creates a certain degree of powder consolidation. After pre-shear, the normal stress is reduced and shear is applied until the powder bed yields. The pre-shear and shear sequence is repeated using the same pre-shear normal stress, but lowering the shear normal stress each time. To measure shear at different consolidating stresses or temperatures, add a duplicate powder shear stop and enter the desired temperature or consolidating stress. Depending on the powder, it is recommended that the powder be equilibrated at temperature for at least 30 minutes. Powder is loaded into the cell above the top neck of the funnel. Start the test from the instrument or the software. After the consolidation step is complete, follow the prompt on the rheometer screen or in the TRIO software and trim the sample. Place the trimming scoop into the notch on the cup, loosen the screw, and slide the funnel across to remove excess powder. Press OK on the touchscreen or in the TRIO software to move on to the measurement. 
Once the geometry lowers to the powder, the draft covers may be installed. The rheometer will then perform the shear measurements as defined in the test procedure. In this tech tip, we have discussed how to set up the TA Instruments Powder Rheology Shear Saw with temperature control. For additional information, you may reach out to our Rheology Helpline. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA tech tips, and thank you for your interest.